Welcome to Fun Fish Fridays, where we play with Fun Fish decks on Fridays. What am I saying? Hello. Today we're going to be taking a look at Loris, which is of course the third and final Bermuda deck of this set that I want to take a look at. And unfortunately I only have two Olivia, so the deck isn't complete per se in terms of the G-Zon, but you know, we'll work with it. Uh, the deck is pretty fun, I think it's the least best of the three Bermuda decks that you can play if you're playing competitively. I think that Mir and Nemuel are still the better decks, but at the very least, you know, at the very least, it is still pretty good. And wow, look at all these other amazing decks that I can't wait to make content about. We're finally done with set two deck and fights, that's crazy. It's only as if I have 20 other decks to work on from the things that released in, in December, crazy. All right, anyway, I think it was this specific list, so let's take a look at it. The deck is fairly strong, like it's not like abusively strong. It's just pretty consistent in multi-attacks. So that's kind of like its biggest strength, like strong point, I would say. Uh, so this is of course, Containing one Fighters Collection card, so but if you have four Olivia, play four Olivia and then four Somni essentially. But the main card of the deck is of course the Loris Grade Three. So Loris has the Harmony keyword, the first ever keyword ever printed in Vanguard and also in Vanguard Zero. And Harmony basically means that when this unit is on the field and you call something else or play something else in the same column as that unit, both the units in that column go into Harmony state. And so then what happens in Harmony state? Well, for Loris, her GB2 says once per turn. When she goes into harmony state, for that turn you can give two units plus 5k and give herself a critical. So things like that. And when you stride over her, count must one, and then choose one of your rearguards and bounce it to hand, and if you did, then draw one. And she gains 3k when placed. It's a bit of a shame that she doesn't let you like call something from hand first and then bounce, because sometimes you have an empty board against certain matchups, so it's not that great. Then my kind of like backup grade 3 is the Himari, which is kind of meant to be just a rearguard, so she also has harmony and GB1 once per turn. When her attack hits a vanguard, if she is in the harmony state, count must one, choose one of your the rear guards and bounce it to hand and then choose a card from your hand and call it and give it plus 5k which is actually quite nice because that can help us get over defensive so she's one of the cards that turns on multi-attack then we just run one legion just to not deck out at times and of course four heal guards then uh, the starter is the akari so she also has harmony and gb1 when this unit becomes harmony state you may put her into the soul or sorry if she is in harmony state you can put her into the soul and then choose one of your guards and bounce it to your hand and draw one and she cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects so she's good just to like help you replenish hand sometimes and like bounce cards that have on bounce effects then we run two of the 10k booster so gb1 when she boosts if she is in harmony state the boosted unit gets plus 4k so she's a 10k booster good card not bad to have but i do play three of the counter charger so let's do counter charge two because you can almost a lot in this deck so you can make this a three of if you want and play two counter chargers but i just want to see the counter chargers and we do run duo pgs because we play roan and roan of course lets us on hit vanguard counter boss one bounce a duo rearguard and then search our deck for the same card and add it to hand so lets you bounce the duo pgs and have more pgs in hand which will always be good we run six resist cards so four of the emilia gb1 when bounced to hand from rearguard circle counter boss one and draw one and she has resist so this one is nice so you don't have to soul blast for it so you can use all your soul going into the counter charger but then we still play two of the quancy which is also on bounce from rear Calmos one soul blast one and draw one and she has resist but she does use up soul to keep that in mind and finally it's three speakers which is our other kind of like multi-attacker like we basically always want to be doing at least four attacks per turn after we get to grade three and basically she says gb1 when she attacks the vanguard while being boosted counter boss one choose one of your non speaker rearguards and bounce to hand and then choose a card from hand and call it and for that turn that unit gets plus 3k so if you call a grade 2 becomes 12 which is nice and you can boost it with like a 10k or something and it will hit for 22 which is quite good uh, so that's it for grade ones we also play of course stride fodders slash lore searchers because that's the main card of the deck first stride is usually somni somni is on hit vanguard choose a rearguard and bounce it and then you choose a card from your hand and call it and give it 3k so it's like the same as speaker but on hit and no counter boss which is pretty good and then of course olivia is your main stride for when your opponent's at like four and stuff uh to pressure them with a crit so gb2 when she attacks the vanguard kalmas one g persona blast and then bounce any number of your different name rearguards to hand and if you bounce three or more then you can choose a one two cards and call one to the front one to the back row and then for that battle this you can gain the crit um i tend to misuse this skill very often and like bounce too much and then call very awkwardly and misuse my speakers so be careful with that because then don't make the same mistakes that i do for those of you trying to play this deck in the set three format i play the one of harmonics which is like unplaced vanguard circle unlocked any number of your locked cards 
cards and then for every unit that you unlocked you discard one so it's a nice little link joker counter because of course this deck gets kind of melted by link joker otherwise and the one of amaris from fighters collection she's not that good when you stride her you can choose two of your rearguards and bounce them to hand so it's like if your hand is like a turbo brick and all you have is like emilia's you can like set them up in the back row first and then like bounce both of them with this and then draw some cards i guess but that's about it or like if you need to reuse th stuff like the counter charger and things like that but generally speaking we always like first try somni and then go somni again or into the olivia so that's the deck that's all of it let me go equip some g zone sleeves here which have been added since the update for new years you know what let's go full on sorry not new year's since the update to set three i'll go full on new year's style here as well or maybe christmas christmas is more fitting or oh, actually isn't there kami ket coming back there's kami ket coming back so we could also equip the kami ket these were distributed during kami ket by the way the lot kami ket 97 you could see it there and they were never distributed again so they are arguably the rarest sleeves that you have oh we have winter bermuda sleeves let's use winter bermuda sleeves it's more fitting all right enough talking let's go it's time for fun fish fridays this is not this is episode one and also the final episode of fun fish fridays never ask me for fun fish fridays again <laughs> ever <laughs> but let's go uh for the time being this is the last bermuda deck and i don't think bermudas are gonna get support for a few more sets there is gonna be like the big like prisms support where like they get like the wedding rares and stuff and we start off by playing against satoya who's playing royal paladin all right i wonder if he's gonna be playing Old Mile, or if this will be a Thing Saver. Okay, so we don't have uh, Loris here, but we put the heals back. Worst case, this will be a Stride Fodder, or if not, we're gonna just use the Grade 1 here to search out the Loris, because we can ride the Counter Charger for now. We're going second, which means we get first Stride as well, so that's very good. Looks... Well, it's hard to judge by Milius. You know, Milius can be anything. Okay, it is Old Mile. It is an Old Mile deck with Fisherman Kai. Fisherman Kai against my Fun Fish Fridays. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Local Fisherman ruins Fun Fish Fridays. That's not it. That's not what I want. All right. We just swing with 10. Loris gets checked, but not added to hand. So next turn, we will have to ride her. Or ride something to search. We also don't have, have the Roan in hand, which is a little bit annoying. <clears throat> so next turn... Uh, it's a bit awkward because we can't really like push because I'll have to call this down but then I if he doesn't call anything else here I can just call it to the back row and not worry too much oh never mind that's a target I guess looks like he also doesn't have his alt mile so I'm assuming he's gonna search here <clears throat> let's see this card is the fragment searches alt mile okay that's fine that's fine Ooh, swinging early too nice little aggro we get a draw though, shutting down his offensive into a Spica, which is also good. I think we still ride the Quan because we don't care about the resist as much in this matchup. That's more so for like Link Joker, Shadows, you know, like virtually everything else <laughs> in the meta right now. Um, I guess we can technically do this. I think we can discard this because again, the re resist isn't as important here. The resist is not as important here. So I'd rather just get rid of the grade ones in the back because for all mile, they're very few and far between. Um, so you do want to like kind of take them out before it gets out of hand, you know? And then if it stays on the board, I can also bounce it back next turn after striding with Loris, which is also really nice. That That's a nice effect to have. So being able to stride and then bounce back your stride fodder is pretty goaded. Pretty goaded, as they say. Sadly, there's no Loris animation for um, Emmy. Does the Saya have a Loris animation? I think she did. I think, yes, she did, she did. And I remember seeing one, actually. I remember seeing one. Mmm. Isn't this guy like Kalmas 1? Yeah, wow. That's an interesting Jewel Knight to run. I would not be running that myself, but it's fine. So you did get rid of my poor, poor Stride Fodder. Unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. We lose a PG here as well. It's okay, we lose a Stride Fodder too, but it's okay, we have Stride Fodders in hand, we draw into one too. Let's ride the Loris. And then we can basically just stride into the Somni. Uh, attack pattern is going to be a bit awkward. I say awkward, it's not that awkward, but... It'll be a bit special, let's just say, a little bit special. Um, thinking how I want to order my attacks, because... How much hand cards do I have right now? Eight, so we don't use Loris for now. Save that CB for something else. Um, I do need PGs though, so that's kind of concerning that we haven't pulled one yet. So let me call some stuff down and then use you to bounce the Amelia and then draw another card. 
Oh, nice. Uh, currently at eight cards in hand, right? Yeah, so we can afford to draw one more. Good. So we basically just like fill up hands, try to find PGs and stuff. Um, resist doesn't really do as much here. I'm thinking if I want to commit, if I want to just like swing rear with a 9k and then use her to bounce and then... Like, she has to be in harmony though, that's the bad thing. Theoretically, we could call down an Emilia to the back and then use the grade 1 there. The grade 3, rather. It's a bit awkward for numbers though. We, what we could also do is just play a bit more passively. We could play a bit more passively and just set up more intercepts like this. So basically, like, just do this instead. I guess it's fine, we save on CB as well. Uh, so this way we just swing like this, get the heal, which is good. Because now we can basically bounce the, uh, we can bounce the Amelia here, draw a card if we want to as well. Because right now we're at, what, seven cards in hand? Seven cards in hand means this goes back, we go to eight, and then we call it back out again. And this will swing for nice numbers too. And then we can draw one to go to eight cards in hand. So that's actually not bad. We use our CB nicely. Grade one as well is going to be good for later, so that's quite good. Swing for 27, really good numbers. So, ah, oh, he heals, didn't get to push to four. That's okay, you're not really, like, bothered as much. Take out the rear here. This way, if he plays the Blaster Spirits, my front row is safe, but I've seen most players don't. Uh, most people I've played against don't play the Spirits, and they just kind of, like, you know, play with the default engine, I guess, that you have in, um, in Royals. So let's see. Going into Samuel, okay. He wants to push a bit of damage, which means he's going to commit a lot to board this turn. If he has a sword me, it's not as heavy, but if he doesn't have a sword me, it's a little bit difficult. He has to really lose up his whole hand. Starlight Violinus will also get the job done. That's fair. That is fair. He does get to do that. Powering up the Vanguard. Wonder why he did that. Because if he calls a Twin Sword here... Because ideally, I think you want to call a Twin Sword, right? No, you don't, because you, you don't get to use it. So I guess you call a... Fragment? It doesn't really matter, actually. Yeah, he calls a Fragment. You want to keep the Twin Sword for next turn. Because the double resist makes it hard to get over anything. Oh, okay. Three cards in hand. We made him chip away quite a lot, and now he's going to bait me into thinking he plays stands. Luckily, I will not fall for such bait. My brain is too big. Okay, he's going to deal me one damage. So we're going to go to at least four here. Another PG is going to die there. Which is kind of unfortunate. We haven't seen a single one yet. I would like to use Roan to search one out by now. Another uh, P, uh, Stride Fodder there. Alright. We have Stride Fodders for days. I'm just thinking... This feels like a Spica turn. This feels like we go... Stride into a Somni again. Stride into Somni, swing rear rear. Somni hits, recall a Spica. And then Spica has to call back a non-Spica, which is actually okay. So what we do is... Uh, we're gonna drop you... I'm gonna drop the grade one strife fodder. And then we're gonna call Spika plus the grade three. And then we're gonna be able to make quite a few attacks. Counter charger picked up is good. My hand is currently at nine, so we can't use Loris. Again, that's kind of like the curse of overdrawing, I guess. Just a little bit. So we're gonna do this, right? For now, we don't need to use the counter charger. We'll leave it for later. So we're gonna just simply swing rear, swing rear. And then use the Somni to bounce the Spica and make another attack with that. So it's going to be 22. And then... Oh, sweet. Okay, okay, okay. So it's going to be 22, and then we're going to recall the Grade 3, basically. Alright, cool. Oh, no, we don't have to recall the Grade 3. We're going to recall the uh, another Grade 2. And if we can, if we could draw... If we had drawn, like, something else... Like a Rona... Not, not a Rona, but, like, something else that you know, would have put in the numbers, it would have been nice. So you will use Spica to recall this. And I think here we just call us. I I don't really call the Spica, I guess at this point I might as well call the Roan. Uh, oh, she gets plus three, okay, for a second I was like, wait a second, am I like ruining my numbers? But it's actually fine. Alright, he doesn't heal, so this is still gonna hit. And then he's in a PG, that's no heal guard in hand, which is vital information for us. Which means, how many heals are left in deck? Three, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Next time we go for Olivia, I'm pretty sure. Because we'll have plenty of different names that we can call down and use. And we can also use Loris' skill to draw, because now our hand is actually depleting slowly. Saint Blow. That's fine. Saint Blow is definitely A-OK. -okay. 
So now let's see what he's going to call down. Three card hand. And it's not really going up beyond that. Okay, he did have the Blaster Blade Spirit. So this is a build that runs it, but only works when called from deck. So this will not do anything for the time being. But now he could use Milius to call one out and kill one of my intercepts to aim for lethal here. Because otherwise he's not actually hitting me for lethal. So he is going to search it out. Okay. So I guess the resists were actually doing work last turn because they kind of like pushed him off from doing that kind of aggression, which is good. It is good. So now he's going to swing rear. Swing rear, then swing St. Plo. Third PG is gone. I'm going to have to double heal guard here. Do I just die? I think the power might be too big. It's 46. Double heal guard puts me to 46. I'm dead. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, not drawing a single PG is going to kill me here. Oh, I feel robbed. I feel kind of robbed. Not drawing a single PG in Bermuda feels almost like impossible, but I guess it can happen, you know? It can happen. So yeah, two heal guards aren't enough. We're going to lose this game. We had a really solid game plan, too. I think we would have had it next turn with Olivia, but a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate that we got really unlucky not drawing any PGs that game. Um, and they all went to damage. We didn't see a Rowan that could have fetched a PG either. So that's all the cookie crumbles. Good game, though. I think we got to showcase like the combos and stuff. So at least I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, let's run it back and hopefully do better next game. All right. It's time for <clears throat> the Bermuda Mirror. New Year's versus middle school. I think the new year is stronger. You know, me and my best friend, we had this thing that we used to always say in school where like... <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. <laughs> it's gonna sound so stupid. But we had this thing where like... You know how like in JoJo, it's... it's They always have like, you know, they, they explain things and like over explain things. And the different like stand powers and stuff are like really complex but also dumb at the same time. You know... A, like, you know, like just coming up with a random thing, like, you know, a stand that like spreads salt on the floor, which turns into acid and kills everyone, but only on Tuesdays at 7.45 a.m., but not every Tuesday, only the third Tuesday of every month, you know, things like that. So we had like, we, we came up with a thing where it was like, someone's power would be like, just the phrase, maybe next year, and it would alter in power, <laughs> depending on which period, like, how far into the year you have said it so if you say if someone goes like hey can you do the dishes and you hit them with the uh, maybe next year then you know if you say that to them on like december 30th nothing happens right it's like literally like air just coming out but if you say it on like january 3rd like a galaxy far away just implodes explodes like literally whole civilization wiped out and we had a <laughs> we had a whole like we had a whole like idea that like, you know the, the the phrase maybe next year should not be said until like the last month of the year because it might randomly just destroy civilization or like end the world or you know just <laughs> uh you know sometimes when <laughs> you know it's like boys do be boys sometimes you have too much time and <laughs> too much <laughs> too many dumb thoughts but man maybe next year is always going to be a a powerful a powerful phrase. Don't misuse it, everyone. Don't misuse it. You don't want to accidentally destroy a world by accident. Anyway, back to the game here. Um, our hand is actually pretty good for once we can search out PGs with the uh, Roan. Especially because he's pushing me early, so that means that I'll be able to... Uh... Oh no. This means that this game is going to be very long. <laughs> this was not my intent. But I guess everyone wants to play <laughs> Fun Fish Fridays together. You know, it's not Fun Fish Fridays without the boys. You know, even though the fish are mostly composed of female units, but, you know, me and the boys always enjoying Fun Fish Fridays. Alright, check out my gamer move, guys. Check out my super gamer move. Call PG, kill booster. Gamers be like. Gamers be like, dude. Crazy. And we get a draw, too. I'm gonna overdraw and, like, now... That's fine. Overdrawing is fine when you have PGs. As long as you're not overdrawing the PGs, it's fine. <laughs> I think. Question mark. Alright, perfect. Um, yeah, 9 card hand already is a little bit yikes. I could have called something else down, for sure. But actually, no, because... I. What else would I call down? A grade 2, I guess? Yeah, that works. But I would have called this down optimally, but I drew that off the draw there, so... Could have played that a bit better, but it's fine. Overdraw is part of the game, you know? Overdraw is part of the game. No, it's Nemuel! That's cringe! That's cringe. That's not poggers. That's cringe, dude. You're supposed to be Chad Loris players on Funfish Fridays. This is this is this is like 
dead fish out of the water Fridays, dude. Come on, you're ruining you're ruining the holiday experience, man. How are we supposed to enjoy Fun Fish Fridays as a community when people pull up leg decks like this? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Everyone is, you know, welcome to play Nemuel. Everyone is is welcome to play whatever. I play Bruce, okay. I play Bruce in standard. I play I, I enjoy playing Gavriel in V Premium. I literally, you know, that's my my thing. So I'm not one to judge. I play decks and love and main decks that other people find super degenerate, so it's okay. No! Please don't be a PG. Okay, that's good. Second card, please don't be a PG either, I will cry. I will be shedding many tears. More than a single tear, actually. Crazy. Okay, counter charger kinda hurts, but not as bad. Not as bad. Alright, Loris, it's time. Let's get these multi attackies going. Let's get these swangies going. Alright. No bounces here. No bounces. Nope. Nopers. Alright. Stride into Somni again. Do the Somni thing. A PG! What a god. What a good player. What a good player. I wish I was as good as him. Um, what call? Um, brain? I'm really... Hmm. What if we call this and then something behind it to make it into harmony and then we recall a great two? How does that sound? That sounds fantastic. I think that's a great idea. Thank you. Thanks for your input. <laughs> um, I guess we can make a column like this and then swing into the rear and then use the great three to recall stuff. And I can actually use this now to replenish my hand a little bit. I guess. Because she stays in harmony even if I don't have anything in that column, right? Or does she not? Oh no, she left harmony, I think. No, go back. <laughs> Why would you do that? You should always stay in harmony, man. That's like cringe. But it's okay. We'll go back into Harmony here. Nice. Okay, that's how it works. Good to know. Local man learns how Harmony works. Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright. Swang. Good. Good swangs happening all around the world. Ah, but then she doesn't get enough power, huh? She doesn't get enough power to swing. So I could uh, swing with a Loris here. I could attack with a Loris and bounce her with a Somni, no? Because this will hit 16 on her own, which is like... Very good. We don't need to draw more. I don't want to overdraw. We hit with this. We need to like pressure her before she sees all her PGs. So I think this is the right call. Please show me triggers like mm, do it. Bro feast. Fuck. Damn it. I said bro feast, man. Where's the bro feast at? Alright, well at least no defensives. Bounce Dolores. And I guess we call a a resist card? Question mark. We did okay here. I'll just swing for the record. <laughs> just to make a point. If I had one more trigger, this would have hit. Not one more, one period. If I had a singular unit of a trigger, that would have been a hit. But alas, it is not a hit. It is not the fast and hits. Ale Titan. RMF. FM. <laughs> I feel like just. I feel like nobody will know what that was. I feel like not a single one of my viewers will know either of those two things that I just said. <laughs> I've just. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm just yelling into the void. I feel like sometimes I'm just talking to myself. You know? <laughs> and I'm just like making references that like five people in the whole world will get. But it's okay. <laughs> if even one person knows <laughs> freaking RTL radio and RMF FM, I'm sure that this world would be a better place. <laughs> anyway, my, op my opponent, I almost called, said my mans, uh, goes into Somni himself. I could actually go into Olivia next turn because my board is kind of like lit fire, you know, fire emoji. But. For the time being, that is, it, it is yet to be seen whether that will be the right call or not. Do I still have three heals in deck? Bro, I do. Crazy. Watch me whiff. Now watch me whiff. Now watch me nene. Now watch me whiff. Whiff. Six damage heal. Alright. I don't know why. I just had lunch. Maybe that's what's doing. That's what's making my brain go crazy. I just had lunch, so now I'm like happy. The sun is shining outside, although it might not seem like it, my room is always dark, <laughs> no matter what time of the day or the year it is, but it is indeed a sunny December day, or sunny Funfish Friday, rather. Okay, my opponent is thinking a lot. Call down a PG, which means he will... Oh, because he's going to bounce her, and then she will bounce the PG, right? I guess that works. But, uh, yeah, I guess so. That works, but for making multi attacks, it's kind of awkward. Because he wants to attack with this first, right? Or is he going to recall this in front of the PG? And then, like, 
Question mark? <laughs> what happens then? Alright, third check, triple blank, just like me. Oh my god, bestie. You're just like me. We check both check triple bank blank blank blank. Not bank. Not rank. Blank. I can speak the English language, I swear to god. Alright, what's gonna be the call target here? And will there be a PG bounce? Okay, the call is made. But will the PG be bounced though? Oh wait, it doesn't bounce it, it searches. It just searches the card on the field, it doesn't bounce. Ah, uh, well then that's fine, I'm gonna lose two PGs here. L. <laughs> Certified L. But he only has one intercept, which means that I have an easy time to uh, go psh, punch head, you know? Punch head, go crazy. Alright, also my calls are very awkward here. My calls are like omega awkward. Which is a bit of a shame, but we can make things happen. Ooh, nice. That's a good top deck. All right, let's go, Olivia. Let's go, Olivia. It's time to go. It is time to go. Okay. It's not it is. It's now it's time to go. Y'all ever watch Quality Deck Code? That's another mid-anime. I keep I keep mentioning mid-anime recently. There was like... What was it? Not Texas Ranger. Not Texas Ranger. That's not an anime. Twin Star Exorcist. That's the... <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Texas Ranger, my favorite shonen anime. <laughs> Alright, anyway, time for a speak a moment. So, this is speak a moment 37. Theoretically, we want to attack with this and then just like pull good cards, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna make attacks here. We're just gonna make attacks here and then call you out again. You will have plus three, which is really cool. Sick. So 19, uh, we don't use this, we need a CB for Olivia. Not getting the counter charger in this game actually kind of hurt. So here we can bounce the 3 to the from the back row, and then just basically call out... She does cost CB1, right? Yeah, she does. I want to buff up the other, the last attack I have here. So I want to see if I can stack triggers onto it. So yeah, persona, bounce 3, and then we can go call 2. So we're going to call these 2. Uh, sadly, Olivia doesn't give power. It would be nice if she gave like a 3k to the call unit, but sadly that's not going to be the case. Heal trigger gets found, which is excellent. Excellent day. Alright, so this is coming in with 24 right now. Okay, we can make it 29, so it's going to actually break the heal guard, which is good. PG gets checked for this one. Does Milady have another heal guard here? No, it's a PG. Is that the last one? It is! Oh my god, we might have game. Please. Por favor, please, 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 yes, we actually won, there we go, perfect, amazing, great finish, thank you everyone for another successful Fun Fish Fridays, it's been a great honor to organize Fun Fish Fridays for all this time, but unfortunately this will also be the final Fun Fish Friday, it's been great, thank you everyone for supporting Fun Fish Fridays for this, the great run that we've had so far, and we ended off on 98 of 100 points, which is very fitting for Fun Fish Fridays, of course, but anyway, Good, good, good games. Good games, good deck, good viewers. Thank you. Happy holidays. Um, let me quickly show you guys the deck once again. I am now going to enjoy the outdoors as it is 2.30. The sun sets in two hours, which, which means I have two hours to enjoy the outside. The beautiful weather. So yeah, this is Bermuda. If you have more Olivia's, please play for Olivia. You can cut Somni to two um, and then just cut out this and one of the Somnis, I guess. So you, I guess you can still play three Somnis, question mark. But yeah, it's still a really good deck. Very fun. Um, not the best Bermuda deck, but we still did pretty well. The multi-attacks are very fun and it's a good time overall. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like. And of course, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel too. It really does mean a lot. We're getting close to 50k, by the way, which is really high. That would be, that would mean a lot. If we can reach 50k, it would really mean a lot to me. So thank you everyone for your support. Have a great holiday season. I'll be seeing you plenty more times over the coming weeks anyway. But in case I don't, then you know just wanted to send that little message there but otherwise that's gonna be it for me today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye